Have you ever wondered if you should tee up clubs other than your driver? Well, today's test will help you with that question. Tom will split some shots with three different clubs off the turf and off the tee, and we'll see what Trackman says. Hey golfers, Thomas and Drew back at the driving range at Les Bolstead Golf Course with another unique test today. It is hitting clubs other than driver off the tee and then off the ground. And so I think it's one of those questions that a lot of golfers ask themselves when they're going up to a par three, right? Is if I have a, you know, let's say nine iron, let's say it's a four iron, should I tee this up or is it better to just hit it off the ground? Yeah, I mean, I believe if you use a tee, it makes it easy to get better contact. Yeah, and I think it, I mean, you. it seems like a very easy answer, right? Because, uh, you know, the ball's teed up, it's off the ground. There's less kind of friction there that can be created. However, with that said, all of the other shots you hit on the course are off the turf. And so maybe the consistency factor there of knowing what to expect can also be something to think about. So, but we'll find that out today. Maybe there's not much of a difference. Maybe the ball goes the same distance between off the tee or off the ground. Maybe there's a big difference in launch and, and spin and in distance. Well, we'll find out. Let's do some testing. All right, so Thomas, you hit a bunch of shots. Um, again, off the ground, then off the tee. And I think, first of all, before we get into the data, what do you, I mean, what are you thinking? happen like I know you, you mentioned prior that you think it'd be basically all about contact making solid contact did you feel like you hit the ball off the tee way better than off the ground yes absolutely yeah. uh, with all three clubs all three clubs yeah. all right well I did want to first of all I mean to me looking at the numbers briefly and, and all the data we have I just wanted to bring up the dispersion because you look at the dispersion every one that is I mean every circle that is with a or hit off the tee is much better. You know, the wedge and iron dispersions are much, much tighter, much more in the center. And then of note, the on the two hybrid, I guess your your apex utility wood, uh, it was a little bit farther down the down the, the screen, I guess, and probably it's roughly the same size of circle. So overall, just by looking at dispersion, you can kind of see that you made better contact. Yeah, and it just felt so much easier to make better contact. Mm -hmm. When I was hitting the wedge and the seven iron especially, I felt like I was just getting it maybe about a groove low on the face, yeah. which just was leading to a little bit less ball speed. And then I just feel like I was picking up five, 10, 15 yards with the Apex UW when I hit, sure. hit it on the tee as well. Yeah, so yeah. you mentioned hitting it a little bit low on the face. I did want to bring, let's bring up that, the impact location. And we'll start, we'll kind of go higher club to lower club. You can see on the left side there where Thomas's average kind of location was for impact. And first we'll start with the T and then no T with the hybrid. You can see kind of near the center with the two hybrid. And then you drop you you drop the T and the, the ball you know, location is a little bit lower on the face. Same trend happens for seven iron. There's the T the shots off the T, and there's shots without the T. And then no wedge shots off the tee and off the ground. So every single time that location drops a little bit, which deviates you and, and drops it kind of away from the center of the face a little bit and results in different performance for you. Yeah, I feel like I didn't hit a bad shot when I had the ball teed up, where if I had my swing was just a little bit off and I caught it a little bit thin, I got, mm -hmm. it, I lost a few yards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there was definitely a little bit of a difference in the yardage. I know you talked about the Apex UW, in total 16 yards of distance, 10 yards of carry, uh, seven iron, it was actually, ironically, the exact same total distance, 178.4, but then about a yard of carry there uh, that you gained with off the tee. And then the wedge uh, was about two yards further total and five carry. So I guess, and then as we talked about hitting it more efficiently, you see a smash factor is a little bit more efficient with each clubs uh, off the tee. So I guess with this information in mind, Thomas, what would you tell people that they don't really have a system in place or don't really know what to do on par threes. Do they tee it up or do they not tee it up? I think I'd absolutely tee it up. When you have that chance, say you're playing lift clean in place on the golf course, yeah. take advantage of it. Clean that <laughs> ball, play lift clean in place. If you've got the winner rolls going on, you're on a par three, tee it up if you, if you can. You don't need to tee it up very high. You can use a broken tee or something laying around on, on the tee. But I mean, if you tee it too high, your contact's gonna be too high on the face. Right. But just a little bit, is going to make for much better contact overall. Yeah, I think we saw that very, you know, very clearly today that you 
least for Thomas, was making better contact off the tee versus off the ground with all of these clubs, and I think that would stay true for any golfer out there. The ball's up off the ground, you're gonna make better contact, and so I guess that's a recommendation. When you get the chance, tee it up, and uh, it'll help your game. So, Thomas, thanks for joining, hitting all the shots, uh, breaking it down for us. Uh, I think we are helping golfers with this one today. Hopefully they take it to the course and it helps them shoot better scores. Yep, give yourself good lies and you'll hit some great shots.